Hi, YouTubers. It's SSS have a next video today. So uh, anyway, it's June of 2022. Pretty freaking amazing. So uh, yeah, that's pretty freaking amazing. So uh, June of 2022. Can't believe it. Uh, the year is purely flying by. Uh, we are about uh, ha almost about exactly halfway through the year. So uh, purely freaking amazing. I mean, I can't even believe that crap. Uh, so anyway, I want to do another Pokemon topic right now. So uh, another uh, Pokemon topic. Uh, now I want, I want to cover right now essentially uh, what is a blackout or a whiteout. Uh, or when you're overwhelmed by your defeat. Now this applies to any kind of Pokemon game, uh, any kind of the handheld Pokemon games, like uh, Red, Blue, Yellow, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, you know, Sword and Shield, uh, you know, any kind of Pokemon game that's handheld. Now, what does this mean, basically, blackout or whiteout or overwhelmed by your defeat? This is essentially a game over screen. So when you die in, like, The Legend of Zelda, you fall down and die. When you die in, like, Castlevania, you know, you go into, like, a cloud of blood. You know, your, your character, you know, dies in a cloud of blood. But basically, in Pokemon, when you are out of usable Pokemon, when you lose all your Pokemon, whether you have one Pokemon on your team or six Pokemon on your team, uh, essentially, you white out or black out. I think in the first generation you black out and then the second and third generation you white out. It means the exact same crap. I mean the exact same shit. It's like you know it's the exact same you know thing. So uh, there's no difference. I mean I think in Sword and Shield and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl you are overwhelmed by your defeat but honestly it means the same thing. It's like saying tomato and tomato or potato and potato. It's the same crap. So uh, Anyway, so basically, uh, when you black out in the first uh, three generations, you know, starting with Pokemon Red and Blue, all the way up to Pokemon El Emerald, uh, you take a penalty. So the penalty for d not dying, but uh, the penalty for, because your character doesn't die, but your character has to go back to the Pokemon Center uh, and, you know, hear the, hear, heal the Pokemon, you know. Uh, basically, when you, uh, and also keep in mind, Prior to fourth generation, you can actually black out or white out if you have poison, the overworld. So say you're a Pokemon, you have one Pokemon with poison that's poisoned and essentially runs out of HP, you can actually black out in the overworld. So this was fixed in Pokemon fourth generation and Pokemon fourth generation, it will be reduced to one HP, but it will survive. So what happens in terms of the penalty? So the penalty is you lose a sum of money. So essentially you have your prize money from winning, uh, you know, trainer battles and also uh, selling items, etc., etc. And in the first three generations, you will lose simply half your money. So, say you have a thousand dollars, a thousand Pokemon dollars, and you it will go down to five hundred, then two fifty, then one twenty-five, and so on. So. I'm not exactly sure what happens if it's an uneven number, you know, say for example, you have like 79 Pokemon dollars. I'm not sure exactly how they uh, calculate that, how the game calculates that, because they don't do like cents, like Pokemon cents, you know, like, uh, you know, like $74.50. But I think probably most likely they do like a greater than, like for example, like, you know, they round it off. So if you have $79, it would be whatever. So I'm getting off topic here. So. That's how it works in the first uh, three generations uh, up until Pokemon Emerald. Now, starting in Pokemon uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green, you will lose a certain sum of money. Now, it's complicated to explain. I'm not going to explain in like exact details, but basically it's dependent on your highest level Pokemon. Say, for example, you have at level 20 Pikachu, uh, then how many badges have you earned, then also in Sun and Moon, uh, how many trials have you completed, and basically it's based on that. So uh, to put it very briefly, say you had a level five Squirtle and you, um, level five Squirtle and you had zero badges and you blacked out to a level two uh, Rattata because it got a critical hit on you, which actually has happened to me in the past. Uh, it actually happened to me a couple times. Uh, basically, you would lose $40 or 40 Pokemon dollars. I keep saying dollars, but it's actually Pokemon dollars. So that's 40 Pokemon dollars. So it's somewhere, I mean, if you had a level one, I think it would be like uh, eight Pokemon dollars. It's complicated to explain. So uh, please don't, you know, quiz me or get into a big like discussion about this. But I essentially, 
that's what it means. So you will lose a certain sum of money. Anyway, that's what basically a blackout or a whiteout is, is essentially it's a game over screen. And it, another thing is in starting in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, there'll be a small cutscene where the trainer goes back to the Pokemon Center and essentially the Pokemon Center will, will do a quick uh, speech. So it's a kind of a complicated topic, but uh, that's basically the basics of it. It's, it's a game over screen, and essentially you'll take a, a penalty in terms of how much money you have, and then that is basically the penalty you take. So, oh, another thing I wanna mention before I forget, uh, uh, unlike a lot of RPGs, unlike a lot of RPGs, you actually do keep the the experience you, you have. A lot of RPGs, uh, when you get a game over screen, you lose your experience. In Pokemon, you keep your experience. So if you don't mind losing your money over and over again or losing some of money, essentially you can just keep trying over and over again until you get stronger and stronger. That's something that's unique about Pokemon, unlike Castlevania or like Final, or, you know, like uh, most RPGs is that you actually keep your experience and you keep your moveset. Um, unlike um, a lot of RPGs, you, you, which you don't keep your, your experience. So anyway, bye, pretty freaking cool.